here, Larissa here from Beekeeping Made Simple. And this video is about what to do with your frames of drawn out comb after you've finished extracting them so you can save them and use them again next spring. First of all, what's going to get to these frames if you leave them sitting around? I found that cockroaches love to eat beeswax. Wax moth will have babies in this wax and then their larva will eat the wax. And then you have rodents, especially mice that love to eat the wax, sometimes even raccoons and rats. So you want to keep it safe from all of these guys. And for you people that live in a state that gets a cold winter, you're going to have an easier time um, storing these than people that don't have a cold winter. So option number one, you can freeze them. A number, it's very important to freeze them for 24 to 48 hours to kill anything that might be on your brain. And then you can bring them into your house to let them defrost and um, dry off. And then you put them in a bag. I found a easy way to seal a bag is to buy those vacuum seal bags because they come in a roll. So you can make the bag as long as you need to. Because this is 12 and some inches long. It's, I mean, you can't find Ziploc bags this long. And then I have a sealing machine that was just $40 I bought on Amazon. And I use it to seal the shrink wrap on our honeycomb cases, I use that to seal the vacuum seal bags. If you have a vacuum sealer, then that also seals the bags for you. You don't need to vacuum seal it, you just need the sealing part. Um, or you can actually just use duct tape and duct tape the bag shut. And that is a plastic bag you can put your frames in. Then you want to put them into a large container. Now I found that the, the cheaper Tupperware bins aren't enough to keep out insects, especially cockroaches, or really even uh, small mites. So you want to find a container that has a, a better seal and, and a tighter fit on it. And then you'll put it in a basement or a cellar is best because you don't have to worry about rodents getting there, hopefully, because you probably don't have them in your house. And if you do, probably just one or two mouse traps will be sufficient to keep them away. You can keep them in a carport or a garage or a shed, but just keep in mind that they are going to now be open to rodents getting to them. And it's more likely that cockroaches and other bugs will be able to get into this container, especially if it doesn't have a gasket seal on it. So if it's cold enough out, you don't have to worry about the insects anymore, but you will have to worry about rodents and maybe even raccoons. So some people have just created like a caged area with a hardware cloth and that keeps them out. This is, can be a lot of work though. So another option is you can just hang them. Uh, but what you want to do is use a wire rope, not wood, and you can hang them from uh, the like the, the upper ceiling of your carport or shed or garage and mice and rats cannot run on wire rope however they can climb and run across uh, wood so you want to make it out of wire to keep the rodents away and once it's cold enough you don't have to worry about insects now what I do and is the easiest but if you have the materials and the room is to put them in the refrigerator or a chest freezer. I have a three cubic foot chest freezer and that actually holds 20 to 30 super sized frames in it. Now my three cubic foot freezer is actually broken. So if you have a broken refrigerator or broken chest freezer, once you freeze your frames, you can put them into the broken one and all you're looking for is that sealed container to keep them safe in which it still works and does that for me. So I keep my broken three cubic foot chest freezer around just for a safe sealed place to store my frames. Here's my three cubic foot freezer. You can see that um, I have eight in the row on the very left and I could still fit even a ninth frame in there. So that's at least three rows of nine frames. And usually you can stack some up above just a few though at a diagonal. Freezer's off, it's broken, and it keeps all the bugs out. Refrigerator won't kill, won't kill any bugs on your frames, but it will keep them dormant. So if you have room, you can store 
maybe four or five frames of drawn out comb in your refrigerator. They sit really well in that middle shelf and um, you can just keep them there throughout the winter. However, it won't kill the things, the, any bugs on it. So you can't put them in your refrigerator for a few days and then try to store them somewhere that's not cold. When I worked for a very large commercial apiary with thousands of hives, they had an air-conditioned room and they just stored their supers in the air-conditioned room. And they also had a bright light in one corner and that would attract any small hive beetle larva to that light. Now wax moth larva does not like the light so or circulating air. So if you do store your boxes, your supers um, with frames, with drawn out comb inside your supers and don't put them into a plastic bag. Store your boxes so that your boxes, every other box is rotated 90 degrees. That way sunlight and air can flow through these boxes and you can keep them even like under a pop-up tent or under a cardboard. You just have to make sure that they're safe from rodents. And if you have a cat uh, that's really good at catching mice, this might not be a problem for you and this might be a very good way for you to store your frames. If you don't have room for all of your frames, but some of them, I always go with the drawn out comb that is lighter in color because the darker frames can harbor diseases. And I also go with the frames that are for deeps not for honey supers and that's because frames of drawn out comb are really great to give a new beehive whether you're buying a nuke or a package of bees or if you just split a hive or caught a swarm it's really great to give that hive drawn out comb that the queen can immediately lay in so that they don't have the queen doesn't have to wait for the bees to build new empty comb so I know that's not just one easy quick solution that I can give you but hopefully one of those works for you. Either you can freeze your frames two or three at a time in your freezer, seal them up in some vacuum seal bags and keep them in your basement or you can hang them from some wire rope in a carport garage or shed outside or you can put them in some kind of chest freezer or old refrigerator. And I respond to all of the comments on my videos, so if you have a question or want to add something, please leave it down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see it. And don't forget to like the video so that it helps to promote our YouTube channel and spread the word about our videos. And subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you're notified every week we put out a new beekeeping video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our online classes at beekeepingmadesimple.com. Right there on the homepage, you'll see a button to download our free Getting Started Guide. It shows you all the steps you need to take to get started keeping bees right there in your own backyard.